Hello class, Mr. Stone here. The problem I found online today, it says find the value of A. Right here, they want us to find A, okay? Hey, so they got A mentioned here, A by itself, 7A and 9A, but they just will really want the value of A, okay? They don't want what 7A is or 9A, so we can just whiz right through this, okay? What I put above, I put some angle rules, okay? I like to put them up there all the time. What we're gonna use to solve this, we're gonna use a couple of these ones in the top. We're gonna use the fact the straight line and the triangle are both 180 degrees, okay? We've covered this before, okay? Then the other one I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use right here the opposite angle rules, okay? I can see we're gonna need that, okay? So if we get A up the top here, right up there, that means inside here is A, okay? We know the whole triangle inside is 180 degrees, okay? So that means this, right, it's a straight line, and that's going to be 180 minus 7, okay? And that's what that's going to be. And then this side over here is going to be 180 minus 9A, okay? So, hey, let's write this into a formula, okay? So I'll push this up a little, okay? The formula we're going to write now, it's going to be A, which is the top one, because we know this is going to have to hit 180 degrees. So it's going to be A... Okay, plus, we're adding these together to hit 180, it's 180, 180 minus 7A, okay, that covers that first one right in here, covers that one, plus 180 minus 9A, that covers this one over here, okay, equals 180. We know the whole triangle is going to be 180 degrees, okay? So now, all we have to do now is combine like terms, okay? So let's do it. You ready? So we got a positive A. This is a positive one. And then we got a negative 7, okay? So that puts us to a negative 6. Then we got a negative 9. That puts us to a negative 15, okay? Negative 15A. 15a. Now, what do we got? We got 180 and 180. That's 360. Okay? 360. And that's positive. Positive 360. 60. That combines them all. I think we got them all. We got the A, we got the 180, we got the negative 7a, we got the 180, and we got the negative 9. That's it. That was all. Okay? Equals 180. Now we gotta solve for A, okay? So what I do first, hey, let's get this A into a positive state, okay? I'm gonna add 15A to each side. So I'm gonna add 15A to this side, 15A. And remember, what I do to one side, I gotta do to the other side, plus 15A. Plus 15A, okay? So let's bring this down, we got 180 plus 15A. Now, what do we got over this side, okay? Do, do, do. This is 15A plus 360. The 360 comes down, so we got 360. That's it. These two cross each other out, and that was it. Well, wow, that's easy. Okay, so we got 360 equals 180 plus 15A. So, hey... Let's subtract the 180 from this side. So we subtract 180 from this side, 180. And what we do to one side, we've got to do another, 180. Brings this down, we got 180 here, equals, these two cross each other out, the 15A comes down, equals 15A. Now, get the A by itself, we divide. That's 15 times A, divide by 15, these two cross each other out. 180 divided by 15 equals 12. 12 degrees. S square this off. Tell the teacher, hey, my answer is 12. Let's see. Hey, answer C up here. This is 12. And that was all there was to it. That was relatively easy. Okay. All we had to do was concentrate on the few rules that we know. Okay. From doing other ones. Um, and then just put in an algebraic equation and then just solve for A. And that's all we did, okay? 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help my YouTube ratings a lot. Uh, recommend this to any mathematical students you got because they might see this on an exam and they might say, hey, how can I solve this? But in reality, you can. You had all outside angles and hey, you were able to solve the inside. Okay? And thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.